Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Cars with Big Boy Trev. I am Big Boy Trev. My name is Brigi. And today we have something amazing courtesy of Coventry, England. Introducing to you the Jaguar XF. But first things first, let's check out the highlights of today's show. This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, we review the stylish and sophisticated Jaguar XF straight out of the British countryside in Coventry. We analyze its cabin comfort, innovative technologies, engine performance, fuel efficiency, and of course, give its value for money proposition against its rivals, the Mercedes Z Class and the BMW 5 Series. Catch this and much, much more on your Kazi Big Boy Trev every Sunday at 6:30 p.m. only on KTN Home. Guys, today on Kazi Big Boy Trev is such an amazing day. Now, you're in the market for a business saloon. A vehicle that will speak volumes about your character, your lifestyle. Now, I know you're tired of seeing the Germans, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, you know, it's still the same cliche thing, but you want to stand out when you go to the golf club or the country club. Well, to don't the big, but Trevor are giving you an opportunity to experience British bespoke luxury. And today it's all about the Jaguar XF. And we're going to start this review by taking a look at the design profile of this particular car. Now, the first thing that you do notice about this particular vehicle is the design face. The upright Jaguar grill, the honeycomb grill with the Jaguar logo emblazoned on it. And of course, to finish up with the chrome excerpts around it and particularly on the side, the Adams gives this car that butch stance. And remember, when you're designing a business class sedan, Ian Callum, who's the head designer at Jaguar, designed this particular vehicle to give you presence. It's all about presence. Presence is not only in, the, in terms of moving and movement, it's all about how it looks does it look aggressive and you know jaguars are aggressive cuts and actually as you can see from the design face they have really tried to nail that prospect on this particular jaguar xs and of course corresponding with the bigger brother the xj and the smaller brother the xe that design language cutters of Ian Kalam, has really worked to just change the brand into being one of the best design vehicles in the market so as you can see Quadratic headlamps, of course, you do have LED daytime running lights coming as standard, and of course, by Xenon lights just to illuminate the road when you're driving the Jaguar XF on the twisty, windy roads of Kiambu. Could be anywhere else, but again, the name of the game here is presence, and it has that. Now, if you look at the bonnet, and you can see they've got sudden bulges, and of course, it extends all the way to the fenders. That, my friend, is giving this car that athletic stance, the art of performance. That is what Jaguar is all about. So, Whenever they're designing this particular vehicle, they're trying to incorporate all that. You know, you know when a, when a cat is crouching and waiting for its prey, you can see the shoulder blades. You know, it comes up, it tells you that this particular vehicle has that presence, it's got that athleticism that everybody's looking for. So that you know, takes it far away from the traditional conservative Germans into this bespoke British luxury. And that is the name of the game, courtesy of Jaguar. Now let's look at the side profile, as you can see. Typical Jaguar design, as you can see here, the, the fender is bulging, again, denoting it stands. Move across, there's this ball line that runs across from the end of the fender to the hip line, running across all the way to the back. Again, showing symmetry and flowing in motion. That is something that Jaguar have really tried to put on their cars to make sure that everybody understands that it is a sporty luxury sedan now as you can see the jaguar design emblazoned right here on the fender and of course extends all the way again to the lower hip line all the way to the back again it's a subtle line but it shows that they're thinking about giving this car that aggressive look that everybody's looking at now to top it up again you do have 18 inch wheels the standard of course on the higher spec the xfr or the xfrs you do have 20 and 21 inches that comes as standard but for kenya this one is actually perfect because you have good grip and of course it gives you the ride and the quality that you so desire when you're in a business class sedan now let's move all the way to the back as you can see the hip line crosses all the way to the boot line that symmetry i'm telling you it's amazing because you can see the lines there's no discrepancies when it comes to the flowing lines and that was done in purpose to ensure that this particular car gives that flowing symmetry again when you're designing a premium class saloon it has to be flowing you can see the architectural design face on it is something that was taken long time by ian Callum to design and ensure that this particular vehicle is able to you know compete with the likes of the mercedes e-class the bmw 5 series and of course the audi a6 as you can see the j lights 
actually very unique because it has that signature LED design that you probably find on the XJ, the XE. And this particular one, it actually looks like cut eyes in the dark. Have you ever seen those National Geographic movies and you've seen a lion or a jaguar or a cheetah at night? So the illumination of the iris is the same signature that's on the light. So again, attention to detail, very important in this day and age, especially when designing a business saloon. Now, as you can see, you have the big Jaguar logo with the Jaguar emblazoned on it, and then this chrome bit across here again, giving this car that genesis that we keep on talking about, or cars the big whatever. Now, as you move lower towards the bumper, the top part of the bumper, again, you do have parking sensors as a standard, and of course, the two exhausts denote performance that you're going to find out later on as we drive this car and feel the two liter power courtesy of ingenium engines but the question still remains how good is the cabin we know british luxury bespoke luxury can it fit the bill let's step in and see what the quality is like in the jaguar xf from where i sit i can tell you the level of sophistication and design is just but amazing at the farthest end of the dashboard there's a layer and this layer actually has wood grain with the jaguar badge emblazoned on it where else would you find this design i can only remember the big brother the xj actually had this design and of course it has that forward cabin design to allow maximum space between the driver passenger and the dash again creating illusion of space lighter materials to allow light into the cabin again makes it extremely airy and of course it's one slab design as you can see here so the top part is employed soft touch plastic and of course it's got that uh, finishing of stitches right here and of course here in the middle is where the magic happens you do have a stainless steel except that runs across from that furthest end to the driver's side again denoting that premium quality it's a textured finish so it is very tactile very impressive and of course gives this car that premium look and feel to be able to compete with the likes of the bmw 5 series and of course the mercedes e-class and of course the center highline of this particular place is this 10 inch display in control system basically by jaguar which actually houses the climate control navigation all the vehicle dynamics that you can actually find and it's actually full color and touch so mr mirigu is a resident tech expert he's gonna give us a lowdown on how the different functionalities work and of course you can actually even pair your phone and listen to music and of course use it to navigate the streets of Nairobi that will be done far much later now Rapilite is the dual zone climate control system that basically allows the driver and the passenger to actually have different temperature variations and you can actually control these settings to ensure that everybody has preference so if the passenger is feeling cold they can crank up the heat if i'm feeling hot then i can lower down the temperature to ensure that everybody has a smooth ride in the jaguar xf and that's the functionality and the beauty of having a vehicle that is so designed to ensure that everybody feels comfortable right here so from the dual zone climate control the panel swoops all the way down to the gearbox console and then it reveals something amazing as you can see there's no traditional gear shift but what it has is something called the rotary gear shift so when i press start it rises up and reveals a rotary knob that you can actually control the different gearbox settings so from park reverse neutral drive and if you're feeling sporty sport all right and then you take it back to park and when you switch off it goes flush down and creates a flush surface again that surrounding is done with this wood trim this panel giving this car that genesis car we keep on talking about on cars the big boat rev again right below the gear shift console you do have this vehicle dynamics control so basically traction control esp and of course the different driver mode so eco sport and dynamic if you're feeling sporty and racy then you select dynamic and this vehicle you're able to literally give it that sharp response total response is good steering suspension everything to allow you to have an aggressive drive but if you're feeling comfy you're in traffic you want to relax and chill you want to save some fuel then eco mode is the name of the game and you can actually control that and we're going to find out later as we drive this particular car on the kiambu ring now obviously as you can see you do have uh, plenty of cubby holes and spaces as you can see so the section can actually have a slider that reveals the two spaces you can actually put two cup holders and of course on the right hand side you do have a cruise control and an electronic pack brake there's no traditional handbrake so this one again allows for plenty of space utilization obviously as you can see here you do have a center console with plenty of spaces you do have a 12 volt socket 
on a USB port and an SD card so that you're able to plug in your device and listen to music or even charge your device on the go. That is something important that Jaguar have employed on the XF. Now it's time for us to move to the instrument winner call where all the magic happens. And as far as Big Boy Travis is concerned, this is where the magic happens. So on the left hand side, you have two decals. On the left hand side, you do have the speedometer. On the right hand side, you have the tachometer. And in between, you do have a monochrome display that gives you all the vital information that you need on whatever's happening in the engine and around the vehicle. So from range, of course, you do have temperature checks, gauges, and of course, fuel level and anything that requires your attention. If it's due service, if there's a sensor that's not working, so all that information is displayed and relayed to the driver in real time to ensure that you are able to drive and manage the Jaguar XF with ease. Now moving over to the steering wheel, as you can see, it's a three-spoke design. You got satellite buttons on the left and right hand side. So on the left hand side is everything to do with this multimedia information system, the in-control system. So you have volume, menu, you can actually pair your phone, pick up calls and use voice command to control all the aspects of this particular system. On the right hand side, again, you do have all the settings that apply to the cruise control. It has adaptive cruise control, so you can able to select your setting, limit your speed, and do all those things together, just to ensure that you're safe on the road. And of course, if you're feeling sporty, then you have paddle shifters that come the standard in this particular vehicle to allow you to explore the full potential of this eight-speed ZF gearbox that we're gonna test out later on. When it comes to technology, the Jaguar XF has not been left behind in this executive saloon segment. I'm going to start, of course, with the key because the key has quite a number of features that a lot of people might not be aware of. What it has, first of all, is something they call global opening and global closing. So if you press and hold the key, it will actually open all the windows when you're opening the car or when you're locking, it can actually lock all of the windows just in case you've left a window open just to make sure that you're fully and completely secure. The other thing that it does is something called double locking. If you press the button twice within three seconds, it will lock the car such that it cannot be opened even from the inside. So if somebody was to smash the window, for instance, they actually cannot open the car unless they have the key. The other thing, of course, with the key is the fact that it enables keyless entry and keyless start. So just like Trevor had mentioned, we actually do have a start-stop button over here to get the ball rolling with this device. I'm calling it a device because of the amount of technology that we have here. And I cannot talk about technology without mentioning this beautiful in-control touch pro system over here. It's a 10 inch display and it is very high resolution, very responsive, and it helps you to manage the infotainment system of this beautiful vehicle we have over here. This as standard has a very high resolution reverse camera, but in the higher grades of this vehicle, it actually has a 360 degree camera that allows you to park this car in any situation that you happen to find yourself in. Talking about parking, of course, we have parking sensors as standard in this vehicle and you can switch on and off the alarms that buzz when you're getting closer to a vehicle. You can actually switch that on and off with the system over here. In the middle, we have everything that controls your phone. So you can actually plug your phone into this system using Bluetooth and you can make and receive calls as well as play music streaming from all of your mobile devices on this car, of course. Moving over to the side, of course, now we have the settings. So you can change any of the settings over here. You can give this a dark mode, a light mode. You can change, of course, the brightness and some of, of course, now the other individual details within this system. Moving over to the steering wheel. And we do, of course, have quite a lot of tech over here. We have the buttons both on the left side and the right side, as well as the paddles to allow you to manually change the gears when you're on the move in this vehicle. So on the left hand side of the steering wheel, we have the buttons that control the multimedia system over here. So you can add volume, reduce volume, skip to the next track, go to the previous track, as well as activating the voice activation controls over here for this vehicle. And there's a specific dedicated button to allow you to answer and cancel calls when you're on the move. Moving over to the right hand side of the steering, we have the controls for the cruise control system on this vehicle. So you can actually set a speed and have the car maintain that speed when you're on a long trip. So in addition to that, we actually also have a speed limiting function. So you can actually set, for instance, the speed limit at 110 and the car will not actually allow you to go faster than that. So it keeps you out of trouble, even though you're driving this fantastic sports car. But in 
spot we need to talk about the comfort let me jump into the back seat and show you about that coming around to the back of the jaguar xf and you can see why they call this an executive saloon because most of the people who buy a car like this are going to be sitting in the back and i can see why it's a very comfortable place to be in all these premium materials that jaguar is known for are still available at the back here so we have this beautiful open pour wood we have of course now these metallic inserts over here everything that you touch feels premium and this leather of course being incredibly fantastic and i like how they have set this chair you can actually imagine sitting at the back here telling people how uh <laughs> you're not available because they're a signatory anyway in terms of the space that's available here trevor is six foot one this seat is set to the driving position i'm five foot nine and you can see there's loads of space for both my knees and for my feet under the front seat over here People sitting in the middle seat over here will have a bit of a problem because there's a very big transmission tunnel. This is a rear wheel drive vehicle. But on the whole, I think anybody sitting at the back here will have a good time. In terms of storage, we have storage nets at the back here and very big storage cubbies in the, in the sides of the doors over here that allow you to carry quite a lot of stuff. The air conditioning, of course, also extends all the way to the back over here. So we have vents that control that as well as a 12 volt socket to make sure that you can charge anything that you need to do. In addition to that, we have reading lights at the top here, which actually point a specific light at somebody on the left and on the right. And we have cup holders in the middle here, as well as an armrest to make sure that you're safe while you're on the move. In terms of safety, side curtain airbags extend all the way to the back over here. And we do have isofix points for child seats also available in this car. Now let's check into the boot to see just how much space there is for the stuff that you need to carry. Coming around to the back of the Jaguar XF and the boot opens to reveal a massive 540 liters of boot capacity, making it bigger than both the BMW 5 Series and the Audi A6. And I like the fact that it's very wide and long and it's incredibly usable. Under here, of course, now we have a space saver spare tire, as well as the other legal things that we have to have, of course, like now a lifesaver and a fire extinguisher. But there's loads of space available here for any stuff that you need to carry. We have some two or three luggage hooks over here and a 12 volt socket to charge anything that you need at the back over here. But it's time for us to take this on the road and feel the power of this Jaguar XF. The DLF platform basically is made of 55% aluminium structure. So the suspension, some of the cross members are made out of aluminium. Now aluminium is very important in the construction of space frame technology or chassis like Audi. Now this one basically um, allows this car to become very stiff because remember aluminium is three times stiffer than your traditional steel compound. So when you use it um, on this particular vehicle, number one has a sturdy frame, number two, it's light. So it promotes fuel efficiency. So again, Jaguar have used that to the advantage and of course the results speak for themselves. This particular chassis is scalable architecture. It's found on the XJ, XE and also now the XF. So we're going to talk about the different capabilities of this chassis. So let's start up front. Now up front, this particular vehicle that we are driving is the 2.5T or 25T. So 2.5T corresponding for 250 horsepower courtesy of a four-cylinder turbo petrol ingenium engine with direct injection variable valve timing and of course a variable geometry turbo that when you put your foot down like this <laughs> it sends all the power to the rear wheel courtesy of an eight-speed zf gearbox that allows you to explore the full potential of this car and of course helps you to return a fuel economy figure an average fuel economy figure of about 8.9 liters per hundred kilometers which is not too bad for such a vehicle with its weight and of course its power now the suspension up front you do have double wishbones that allows this car to be planted on any given surface in the back you do have multi-link suspension system helps the rear to be planted at any given time and of course has a supple ride especially on tarmac so good on-road manners courtesy of this particular suspension setup it allows this jaguar to be very flexible so you right now I'm flat out, listen to that, 6,000 RPM and it pulls effortlessly. And remember, the acceleration times on this car, 0 to 100 in 6.5 seconds before topping out at a top speed of 155 miles an hour or 250 kilometers an hour. 
Now the Jaguar XF has torque vectoring by braking, which basically uses the ABS system to control how the braking is. So the outer wheels slow down to ensure that the vehicle remains steady at any given curves. Safety wise, it's very important for you to understand that power is nothing without control. So Jaguar has been renowned to have one of the most impeccable safety records ever in any given uh, situation. So this particular vehicle has a mix of active and passive safety features to ensure that you remain steady and safe while in the Jaguar. So active safety features are the ones that prevent you from having an accident. So basically you do have the electronic stability control, which is the umbrella um, program that controls anti-lock braking system, brake assist, and of course traction control. All this work in tandem to ensure that you do have quite a number of things. And of course, if all hell breaks loose, then you can rely on the five-star safety rating of the passenger cell courtesy of the aluminium components definitely and of course six airbags strewn across the cabin and the seat anchor points and the seat belt which is the primary safety equipment in any vehicle so you can correspond and actually see that the Jaguar XE is extremely safe for your vehicle but the question still remains how safe is this particular vehicle does it give you absolute value for money would you take this over the Mercedes E-Class or the Audi A6 or the BMW 5 Series Let's head out and do value for money. So guys, you've seen what the Jaguar XF is all about. It's all about British sophistication, quality and sportiness courtesy of Jaguar's past heritage. But the question still remains, do you reckon this particular XF is one of the best value business class saloons you can ever buy? Mr. Murray, what are your thoughts on this particular car? Well, I've been impressed from the moment that we got it because not only does it look sporty, it actually is sporty when you put your foot on the ground. We actually took it around Kiambu. You can see that it actually matches what it says on the box. The chassis, the one you're talking about, the sporty chassis, yes. it's a fantastic thing to drive. And it's a very comfortable place to be. That leather interior, all the technology, of course, now with that multifunction display, making sure that you are good on the go. It's a fantastic car to be in. So how much does this car cost on the road? Well, prices for the Jaguar XF start at $85,000. This, of course, comes with Inchcape's incredible five-year or 100,000-kilometer warranty, whichever comes first. And they are throwing in something they're calling Gardex, which is an entire package to make sure that this car remains the way it is when you picked it from the showroom. So paint protection film, ceramic coating on the inside and the outside, everything to make sure that this car stays just as, as fresh as when you picked it over here. Now, we know that this particular vehicle actually is in a category where there's so much competition. Who are the key rivals in this segment? Well, this, of course, has been one of the biggest segments for the longest time. Executive saloon cars, and we cannot talk about this segment without mentioning the Mercedes E-Class and the BMW 5 Series, which is actually also available at Inchcape. So guys, do you reckon this particular vehicle ticks all your boxes? Send us your thoughts as seen on the social media notes below, and we'll get back to you with the feedback. But before we leave, how do our audiences catch Cars Big Boy Travel after the show? Well, after this show airs, it's going to be available on our YouTube channel. So just search for Cars with Big Boy Trev or just the letter CBBT and you'll find all our past episodes, over 80 episodes spanning every vehicle you can imagine from pickups to incredible cars like this. We are also available on any social media handle, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us on Cousin Big, but as always, it's been an honor and pleasure. So until next week, drive safe. Be safe.